Okay guys, completely random, but I have so many random orders to do today, so I figured you guys are such my motivation. Whenever I have a lot to do, if I go live, I just, I stay down in my shop and I get her done, just like my title says, and I need to get her done. I don't have a lot of time to work today because I want to play with my kids. It's Saturday, we just went and had a huge pancake breakfast, so I know their bellies are full. And we have a craft date later today. We're going to be making, um, so we live at the beach and we've been bringing home all kinds of shells and we decided to make little treasure boxes today. So we're gonna go to either Michael's or Hobby Lobby or both and find some really cool boxes and decorate them and have them for our special shells that we find. So I have that little date already set up. So I told them, I'm like, you guys let mommy work hard for an hour hour maybe two hours maybe and let me get her done so that we can have some fun so like i said when you guys are with me i get so much done so let's get her done i want to figure out how to angle this i got i got crazy here today hey, oh i got a microphone can you hear me can you hear me i turned it on i have no clue if it works um but it's got a blue light on this and it's got a blue light on the piece on my um, phone. So hopefully once I turn the machines on, you guys will hear me better. I don't know, I can't tell. I can't tell any difference on my end. I've just had several people talk to or message me about, uh, it's time to get a microphone, we can't hear you. So hopefully it will work um, when I'm this close. It probably sounds awesome anyway, but um, hopefully when all the machines are on, it will sound good then too. I'm so due for a haircut. Wow. Okay. Yes. Is it Sunday night? No, but I am still doing my live. This is just a random one. I just, you guys motivate me to work. So um, tomorrow night, is tomorrow Sunday? Yes. Live with lots of giveaways. Yay, I'm excited. Um, so tomorrow will just be my question and answer live, um, just answering any kind of questions you have. I wanted to focus, you know, some questions specific to Rakoma, my Rakoma machine, because a lot of people ask me that, and I figured let's just do it live so that everybody can kind of ask their questions. But you can come with any questions you have about anything. It's not just specific to that, but I was just kind of giving that as a, a place that we could talk about it. Um, well, Candy, think about that question. You, you can write it down when you think about it, and you can either message it to me or just come on Sunday, and we'll figure it out together. Um, hopefully the questions that some people have will be the same questions others have. Um, so hopefully that'll be good. But also lots of giveaways are planned. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm basically going to give, give away some essential supplies and it's all kind of just in excitement for having the um, 5,000 members uh, or subscribers and um, also for launching my new embroidery boxes. <laughs> I've also been working really hard on some stitch out boxes and I cannot wait to talk to you guys further about that. That'll be a whole separate discussion. Um, but I have literally gone through the entire year from April on, is it April on? I can't remember where, when I started it. I think it might be May on. But anyway, every single week, a new product that we're going to stitch together and I'm going to be able to um, have stitch out boxes where you can purchase a month at a time so it would be four weeks worth and it will have every single supply you need to make the products with me. How fun is that? I'm so excited. So I've been looking for some really fun things that we can create together and then I will get all the materials together and whoever is interested in doing it, um, I will you know, provide all the supplies, everything you need. I mean, all the way down to the exact thread colors, just that so you'll have everything on hand. Um, so super excited about that. But today is just about me getting her done and getting my um, orders going. So that's where we're going to go. I'm going to put up my screen up there. I will try to, you know, chit chat, talk, talk to you guys as I work. But my main goal today is for you guys motivating me to get my orders done in the short amount of time that I have. So with that being said, again, I have a new microphone. So hopefully la, 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 it will help um, when all the machines are on. And... Um, I'm gonna get her done. All right, questions, y'all let me know. If I, if you see a question that someone's asking and I'm not answering it, if you have the answer for them, please do that. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed to me, come on, get on that train, chain, train, subscribe. So you can see when things pop up like this. 
um, because I don't always announce it because sometimes it's just as random as I am. Um, and give me a thumbs up. I see there's 25 people on and only five people have thumbs up. I don't know what thumbs up does except supposedly it helps. So anywho, I'm going to turn on, my lights are not even on, I'm going to turn my lights on, turn my machines on and just get her done. I did work last night um, going ahead and putting all of the, um, um, the, anyway, getting all of the things on my um, USBs ready so that I don't have to sit at the computer with you guys. I figured um, get, I went ahead and got all of my designs, you know, in into a brilliance and they're on the USBs. And remember, I've got two different ways that I do it. PES for my baby lock machines and then DST for my Recoma. So I already put them on the two separate um, USB sticks. They're ready to go. I just need to turn everything on and get started. So a lot less talking, a lot more working. And thanks for coming. Don't forget tomorrow night, 9 o'clock Eastern time. Okay, lights on. It gets hot in here sometimes, so I turn the lights off. I don't know. And I turn the machines off for sure. I feel like they certainly generate some heat. I still have some projects that I had left running when I was last in here. So, um, I am going to... Find me. There I am. Okay, so I have, like I said, things that I had left on the machines when I um, walked away from it yesterday that I needed to get off. Um, but I just, I have a lot of random, um, I mean, I say random, I, you know, some days that I'm working all, I just feel like I'm working all on one thing. Like, you know, I, I did a huge day of working all, on all the Easter totes that I had at that moment. Did a day of working on all the seersucker duffel bags that I had done in my group. Uh, and today I just have like piecemealed, um, those butcher block tables, you said they do shake a little compared to your Acoma. Do you still recommend them? Oh, I love them. My, but my, the Acoma comes with its own stand. Like, this bad boy is bolted to this. It comes with it. It's not an extra um, charge. It's not an add-on. So this, by far, the most secure thing. But that's not something you can buy. Uh, it, it, it is designed for this machine. You know, it, it bolts into it. You do put it together. Um, these are just something I bought at Bed Bath & Beyond. I love them. They shake a little bit, but not to the fact that they, you know, it, it changes the integrity of the machine. Um, I love this. The reason why is, um, and I'll link it. I've linked it somewhere, um, but it, I can actually take the machine off of it. Well, I can't do that very well, but my husband can. And um, these machines are called, it's called an origami table. You actually can fold it up and it's amazing when I've been, you know, taking my machine places. If I'm going to stitch at a, you know, an event, this is something that I can pick up and carry myself, fold it up in the car and you know take it back out of the car myself so that's awesome i didn't really buy it with that intent but I, as i've had them i realized how awesome they were and i ended up getting you know a second one when i got the second machine i was like i have to have the exact same table um so for that purpose i do love them and they do have you know space on the bottom that i can store stuff but because the machine does shake the table a bit and whatever's down there will sometimes shake 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 and then fall on the floor so i learned not to put all my um tools and stuff in there because it would shake right off all right so this was an easter basket um that i did last night or left on the machine last night it, you know i had finished it and i looked at it and it really just didn't look well i, I saw some um just spacing that i didn't like um and so I, I ran it through a second time so when i did that i pressed go and but i was mentally done so i um just left it. But I love that. I love that. I love the navy on the light blue. So that is a completed order from yesterday that needs to go out. So I will put that in a separate place. Um, and then, uh, 
how precious is this? I did this yesterday. And I wanted to take a picture because I don't ha it's really hard for some reason to capture this mint. Um, it's mint aqua seersucker. And it, I just had a hard time capturing it with my camera very well. So I have it left out so that I can take a picture of it. Um, but it's awesome and it's completed. So that's good. Um, let's see. So again, if you're just popping on, um, um, this is just random. You guys motivate me to work. So I had several orders I needed to do before I go play with my kids for the day. Um, so I just figured, you know what, let's just turn it on and y'all motivate me. Because when, when you guys are here, and I know that you're watching, I, I kind of am more... Um, I don't know. I just stay on task versus going upstairs, playing on my phone, you know, all, all the things that can distract me. I, um, they do. So, um, let's see. Hey, Alicia. Um, the Easter baskets that I have gotten, um, for the past several years are from All About Blanks. They are sold out of all four colors right now, so I'm a little stressed. Um, but they have assured me that a new um, a new shipment is coming. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get more. All About Blanks is great. I use that for a lot of my linens. Um, you do need to have a wholesale account with them. Um, but so these are the things that I need to do today. That's my stack of Easter baskets. But like I said, I have such random things to do. So... I went ahead and put them all in my USB. Uh, I've got, you know, just some seersucker outfits. I've got several big brother, little brother faux smock to do. Um, this is just some linen napkins to do. Um, got a dress. Um, there's a name faux smock gingham outfit. Um, another dress. Another little brother, big brother set. This is, dun, 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 this is two Easter shirts, three Easter shirts. Here's a sample I'm doing that I wanted to add to my shop. I hadn't used these yet, so that's a sample sale that I did. Um, here is a flash sale Friday item that I did. And these are, these are as well, flash sale Fridays that I did in my group and it's Easter shirts. So like I said, lots, and, oh, I have um, one St. Patrick's dress to get out that they ordered really late and I was like, ah! Let's get this out so they can have it in time. It's not even due. When is it due? Um, I mean, I think it's like due. Well past St. Patrick's Day. So anyway, I don't know if they didn't realize that or, or what. But um, anyway. Um, <sighs> sometimes it's hard to just get started. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to figure out what's going on. No, here's the St. Patrick's Day. I did start it. I just need to put the actual um, shamrock on the bottom. So I put the name on it yesterday and walked away from my machines when I was done with the intentions of coming back down. But but I didn't. It was so nice here yesterday. I worked for a little bit, not long. My kids had a teacher work day. And um, we had one of our neighbors saying, hey, we're going out to the beach. Why don't you guys come? And so... It was like, you know what? That is absolutely what we need to be doing. It was so beautiful. I mean, I think it almost got in the 80s here. And then, of course, today it's back to not being as nice. But um, that, that's kind of, in North Carolina, we have a lot of, um, like, fake fake days like that, which I love them. You, you take them for what they are when they're here, but you have to, in the back of your mind, remember that, okay, it's going to get cold again. This isn't here for, for good yet. But it's cool. So I live in this uh, a small beach town, and you can really tell that things are like opening back up, which is awesome. Because several things, restaurants and whatnot, closed down for the season, and you know March and you know April is when a lot of those things open back up. So I could really tell that things are opening back up. So that's good. That's fun. Spring is so 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 close which is nice. So this, like I said, is the, it's a very lately ordered St. Patrick's Day dress. Um, 
So I want to go ahead and get it out. Definitely doing priority shipping so that they have this for St. Patrick's Day, which is not too far off now, is it? All right, I don't think my iron's hot enough yet for that to stick. Nope. Okay, so let's figure out what the best order to get everything on the machines. I'll move this out of the way because it's probably blocking what you're doing. So what I like to do when you have multiple machines, I kind of like to assign, you know, one machine to one thing. And um, that's going to be, um, my Rakoma is going to be working on Easter baskets today. <laughs> and then, um, um, and then the other ones I'm going to have one set up to be doing a few sketch designs and appliques and one to just be doing monograms. So that's kind of how I'll have the the workflow set up. Um, so I just try to do it where I can continually have, you know, the machines going. Hey, everybody. Um, Alexander, is kids clothing the most profitable market in embroidery? You know, I've done a, a, a good analysis of last year's sales. And as much time and energy I put into like birthday shirts and seasonal shirts, t shirts and whatnot. That is, that was not, n none of those were in my top 10 sellers. So that was kind of eye opening to me that in, within my top 10 sellers, it's more of, you know, just a simple monogram on a dress or a monogram on a seer sucker outfit. I definitely make more money. And the fact, not only do I make more money, now the blank is going to be more expensive, right? But uh, I make more money and it's quicker, <laughs> you know, 12 minutes to do a quick monogram on a clothing item versus... Some of the uh, appliques could take 45 minutes, and th that's awful, right? Like, to take that much time. Um, now, the blank is less for a t-shirt, but um, but anyway. Okay, let me get my machines going, and then we can chat a little bit more. Um, so, like I said, I've already put all the designs. Oh. This one cannot go on the Rakoma. For some reason, the DST form, do you guys use Oscar Scribble from Alphalicious? I love this font, but for some reason, the DST version has a thousand jump stitches to it. Um, but the PES, when I pull that up, all the jump stitches are removed from it. So I don't want to put this on the DST machine. I'll put this on my other. It sounds like my boys upstairs are literally coming through the roof. So if you're hearing a noise, oh, it's maybe because you're coming down the steps. Hi. Um, yeah, what is your brother doing? It sounds like he's going through the roof. No, I can still hear it. Um, you may have a turn. What, what is he doing right now? Watching a movie. Okay, remember we're going to be going and doing our, um, we're going to be going doing our craft project soon. Okay, they're going to fight over who gets to play on the computer. So get ready, my other one's going to come down. See, here they go. Uh, mother moment. Getting ready to go have a mother moment. Love, love. My husband and other son are at a basketball tournament. Hold, please. Trace. Get over here. Trace, I told him he could do it after 30 minutes and it is turn. I'm I'm on live. Like they can hear us right now. lovely sorry guys that's real life as a working mama right kids losing it and y'all got to be part of that sorry <sighs> okay deep breath um you know it is what it is but lord have mercy on my soul
They're fighting over who can use the computer. That's day to day. Um, yeah, that. Ugh. Okay, focus. This is my happy place. Not letting them take my joy. Like I said, we already went and had this fun breakfast. Went to their favorite place. We got chocolate chip pancakes. We have a big craft plan for this afternoon. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, Robin. That's one of my. That's my ten-year-old and my seven-year-old. She's not seven. He's six, but he's getting ready to turn seven. I don't know why I even said that. Okay, focus. <sighs> All right, we're gonna do this first one. William Font on uh, name. No, Foster in the William Font in Navy. And we're doing it on the Rakoma. So let's get my Rakoma. That fits perfect. So just like I normally always do, um, I bought, I got, um, I, I save as much as I can for the sticky stabilizer. So that I don't waste so much. And I just try to patch it so that I only cover the area that's been used. Um, <laughs> yeah, mommy moment. Um, okay. Like I said, they had a teacher work day yesterday. We went to the beach all day. Had to catch up at some point, right? Oldest son plays travel basketball, and North Carolina has not been as quick to open basketball stuff, and so that means their travel team has to, like, really travel <laughs> and go a lot further than they used to just to be able to play a game, so um, I'm stepping on a pin, ow! Okay, so let's get this one on and at least get something started. This name is Foster. So we're going to find Foster. There we are. Add it to the machine. Bring it up. Say, okay. And I did check that it is within. Yep. So that's good. I'm going to put... The first needle directly over my design so that I can center it with my grid. And then I just move it over to be right on top. Perfect. And they want it in navy, which is my ninth thread. Awesome. Just going to trace it just to ensure that it is exactly where it needs to be. Um, And it is, so I'm going to remove the paper backing and tell it to go. Get our first one going. All right, next item up is going to be, we'll go ahead and just do this one get it done. This is the one that I said is with the scribble font that doesn't work well for some reason in DST format. So I'm going to put it on my other machines. Because for some reason, I don't know why. And now when I had a single needle, this this font was hard. There were so many um, jump stitches to it. And I actually think that Joy, the owner of Alphalicious, I, I think she worked on it when she realized it did have so many. It's such a cute, cute font. Like I said, it's called Oscar Scribble. Um, but I do think she worked on it to get some of those jumps out. But for some reason, I pulled it up on the DST and I was like, oh my goodness. 
there's a million jumps that I don't want to cut. So, we'll be good and just put this on PES. It just is really cute, like kids. It just looks just looks like a kid wrote it, and but it's readable, and so I like that. Yeah, I did. I got a new microphone. You guys said I needed to. Uh oh, I was probably frozen. Um, yes, I did get a new microphone because I had so many comments saying that you guys couldn't hear me. So I hope it works. I hope you can hear me with the machines going in the back better. All right, so this is Anne in Scribble Font Light Pink Thread. So let's see. Put it on here. the moment in the show where I blow into my USB port for some reason to try to get it working. <laughs> I don't know why that does the trick, but it does. And I know people have talked about USB extenders and all that, but hey, I just got a microphone. Slow to get all the things. All right, where is... There we go. Set it. I'm gonna rotate it. Okay, we'll find our center with our laser here. We're good. We're going to use the light pink thread. Number four. There we go. Get her done. That's my mind. Okay, good. I'm glad that it's working. Um, yeah, we had um, lots of pollen here, too. Speaking of spring coming strong. I came out to my car, and I was like, oh, my gosh, it's, like, covered. All right, these are for the Rakoma. Let's do one of these. So this is cute. This is just our dress monogrammed um they pick a thought that i don't i mean it's really cute done but it really was more intended for my linens and my fancy things like that and then out of the blue somebody will pick it for you know a dress which is fine um i guess it just wasn't what my vision was with this particular font but it really does come out cute on dresses so I've started to definitely see an uptick in short sleeve dresses over my long sleeve dresses. I sell both. Um, so people are definitely getting ready for warmer weather. And even with, um, you know, shirts that are being ordered, more of them are um, coming in as short sleeve. I mean, I offer all of them as options, but you can kind of just start to see a natural shift in everybody's orders of being short sleeve at close to the same time. After our 80 degree day yesterday, I, I'm looking forward to it too. Because of the nature of this particular design, I definitely want to make sure that I use the no-show poly mesh versus any kind of sticky stabilizer. Once I figure out where it is. Oh. So, um, soft and sheer, that's the one that I use. That's what I, when I talk about my no show poly mesh, the silky soft and sheer is what I'm talking about. So I just had to grab a new one. And using my five by seven frame 
for the dresses that are 14 above I can fit this frame in there well the ones that are smaller um, I generally stick to um, using it for what oh you're done that's why you're calling me man I wanted to have all three going before the first one stopped Okay, so I just stick it on the back there, and I don't know how long my phone's going to let me be live today, so if, if this abruptly stops, it's because my battery's died. That's the only thing, I can't have my, this microphone plugged in the same time that my, um, phone's charging and I'm just one of those folks whose phone is pretty much always on the verge of being dead. I, drives my husband crazy. Okie dokie. Actually I want to slide that down a little bit. I need to loosen it. I think the last thing I was making with this hoop was um, mask and I don't I have it pretty tight for that because all it is is hooping one piece of tear away so get that set up again I know, this is when the magnetic poop would be better. I hear you guys. I hear you. Just haven't got it yet. <laughs> this is just the poop that comes with the machine. It really does work well. I just sometimes... It's right there on the... Um, It's right there on the edge of the um, Empire waist, so it's thicker there. This is MCR. And my second one's getting ready to finish before this one. First and second are done. Well, it's okay. I needed to get these done, didn't I? So this one, I believe, wanted it in all black, thread color black, MCR. Okay. So let's find that. Now we're down to nobody, no machines running. Here's MCR, set, rotate, close, and close. Even though this fits perfectly easily within this, it's like it's too big, so I have to um, size it down just a little bit. I mean, it's so not too big. That's what's really annoying about it. It fits in here without any. <laughs> That's sometimes annoying. I have to make something smaller when it visually fits perfectly within the frame size and would have no reason to come anywhere close to the size of the sides of the frame. All right, so this we're just going to do full on black, every color. Go. So this would be neat. Like I said, that that particular font is not one um, that I use much for um, clothing. But I have it on my monogram um, options. And um, so it's always kind of like, I, why is it so foggy? Is it foggy? Um, I have it, maybe it's just dirty. I'm cleaning you, I'm cleaning you off. Um, I have this as an option mainly for um, like linens and fancy things like that. So um, anyway, it'll be cute on a dress too. I've done it several times. Just kind of throws me off guard when someone picks that. 
Okay, now we only have one machine working. Not working, but running. All right. But that means we've got two done already, right? So maybe I will finish them before my phone dies or before my children hurt each other upstairs. So that is this one. Good. So I'll show you the scribble font up a little closer. Ah! How did I print the template? So I, I just, the little ball just came off of the darn neat or the pin. How annoying. Now how do you get it out? I print all of my designs off of the Brilliant software. Oh my gosh. You know the little ball head of the pin? It like literally came off. That kind of makes it harder to take off. So yeah, um, after I design everything in Brilliance, I print each design off individually. And it's the only way I will ever embroider. I say that, but it's the only way I have ever done it because it just ensures that my placement is perfect every time. I literally got to cut this because it was I don't know. That's okay. Um, so I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well. Pink on pink. I just love that. So that's the Oscar Scribble from Alphalicious. Super cute. These clear plastic um, folders are, um, I got them off Amazon. I can link them. It was Amber from um, Blingham Bis that gave me the link for these they have just been a game changer for me just being so much more organized I can the second an order comes in I can um, pull the shirts from my inventory that way I know those are already spoken for I mean I used to have times in the past where someone would like I had an order I knew I had the shirt and then someone would reach out to me like with a rush order and I would see that that shirt was over there and I would say yeah I got it right here and then it was like oh my gosh that was meant for a different order so now I pull things and um, keep them together so much better, so much more organized, and it just makes me so happy. Um, okay, let's see. Two machines are quiet, and that makes me not, not happy. All right, we need this one. These are all pink threads, and this order of two. Um, hmm. You know what? They didn't say what, so therefore they get the color of the item. All right, so, but yeah, what I did first was I went ahead and went in in Brilliance. I made all of the designs and I print them out. That way, when it's time to work, it's time to work. I'm not sitting at my computer. I'm focused exactly, you know, on what's in front of me. And I can just keep things going down the row. I work better when I work in clusters of, of time. I, I, not clusters, but like a one good amount. If I can get two hours down here, that's golden. Um, and if I can just keep going, moving and moving and moving, um, I work best that way. First one, to, there we go. Let's say, first one to see my scissors gets a prize, but I found them. So, let's get another piece of sticky stabilizer on here. You know, anytime I'm doing bags or anything like that, sticky stabilizer is my go-to. So easy. And it just doesn't require having to use too much. So... I've loved how many people have ordered the green bag um, with the pink thread. I think that looks so cute and so springy. That's become one of my favorite combos. I've never heard 
said this name, Piera or P-I-E-R-A. They chose my favorite font, um, which is the, uh, <laughs> I'm going to mess it up. I call it the Daisy font only because I sometimes shorten font names when they're just so long that it's too long for my um, font chart. I think this is Oopsie Daisy or something like that. I just call it the Daisy font. But what I love about it is every letter is the same height. So for any of those split designs, um, it's perfect. Um, you know, any design, any space that you don't want to have, you know, like the higher H or the lower P, um, where you can really center a design better, uh, it is definitely my go-to for those. And it's a thick font, which I like, you know, especially on something like this that's got a little poof to it. Works really nice. So Gildan, um, there's, the thing is, there's 10 million versions of Gildan shirts. I don't do a lot of adult stuff, but when I do, that's what, what I go to. Um, I don't necessarily love some of the shirts that I've gotten, and maybe I'm just not getting the right ones, but um, definitely good for practice. You can get inexpensive ones at Hobby Lobby, or maybe anywhere. I don't know. All right, let's find Piera. Piera, save it, bring it up, pick it again, say okay. We're going to go back to needle one to center our design, and we're going to tell it we want color one. So let's center. Good. Now we're just going to trace. Say okay. And we are going to say start. All right, next up, we're going to save the, these for the Rakoma since they're all DST. Let's go with. So this is a cute, this is an individualized uh, bow smocked. I think I keep freezing. Y'all only have 10%. I only have 10%. So I'm either going to have to take away the microphone in a hot sec or we're going to have to end this. So we'll see. That's why it keeps freezing. It keeps warning me. You've only got 20%. And then now it says 10%. So I might have to just turn the mic off and plug her back in. I need one of those multi-port. I, I have ones. You know what? Um, I think I have a multi-port that I used to use when I was at live show. Um, that's probably the route I could go because then I could have both things plugged in. Where that multi-port thing is would be, oh, look at all these stamps. Those, who knew, I had stamps in there. I mean, do I don't really mail anything. Not with stamps, at least. Multiport thingy. Where are you? You're not it. You're not it. You're not it. Whew, I know I have one. All right, one more spot. This might be it. This might work. Um, let's see. Because that goes in there, right? And then I'm gonna unplug. So there's my little microphone. I'll plug it in. Wait, plug it into this. So high tech. I mean, I'm just the high techiest person in the world. All right. Now I don't want to lose this little 
I'm gonna plug this in. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> we are sideways. I don't really have that hooked up very well. Um, sorry guys, I'm gonna do some technical issues. I'm not sure the thing is in line. The um, thing is heavy. So, I'm trying to see now. <laughs> going on a roller coaster if I can't tell if my um if my phone's plugged in like when this is up oh well we'll see all right back to the reason I'm down here so good I got a lot of random You know what? Okay. It's, it just had a pop up that said um, this accessory is not supported by this phone. This is going to be a fail. So here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to keep working, but I'm going to have to turn the microphone off. Womp, womp, womp. At least I know it works. Um, I know the microphone works, and I'm excited about that. And I know I'm going to have to be better about charging my phone because this dual. Um, doesn't seem to be making my phone happy. So right now, what's most important is that I, okay. So right now the most important thing is that I charge my phone or else it's gonna die. Sorry. Um, so we're not gonna hear me as well because now we're not plugged in um, to the microphone. Sorry. So I'll try to talk a little louder. Or, I know you can hear me now because I'm like right here, but when I go over there with a the loud machine, you're probably not going to be able to. That's why I got this mic. But my phone was going to die and I can't charge my phone at the same time, same time that I've got the mic on. So, anyway, first, first try with this. I'll get smarter as it goes. Work, Kelly, work. Anyway, here's the cute green on pink. I mean, how springy is that? Fun. 
Y'all, I had someone message me and they wanted to return. They had gotten two baskets and they said they opened it up and it smelled like smoke. I about died. I'm like, oh my God. And so they wanted to make an immediate return. They couldn't believe that I was selling something that, you know, was from a smoke environment. And I like, guarantee you that there's no smoking going on in this studio ever, never in this home, in this household. Like, no. So I was like, oh my gosh, that, that's awful. Like, how would that have happened? Did it happen during shipping? And I took well, a new one out and I smelled it and I was like, oh my gosh, I can kind of see why. Well, I could. I could see why she bought that. Sometimes when things are packaged from abroad, they, I mean, this thing has traveled far and wide from, you know, overseas. Don't really know how it got here from overseas. By plane, train, boat, I don't know. And then it goes to a warehouse here. I buy it from that warehouse. That warehouse ships it so it travels again to me and then I have it, you know, here in my inventory. And to me it smells just like factory, right? It doesn't smell like... I mean, I get where someone said smoke, but this to me is the same as you know several other things that I've gotten from factories. But I told her I was just as sweet as I could be because that's just you know, who I am. I mean, hello. Uh, and I was like, I promise you, this is from my home embroidery studio. There has been no smoking. I said, what I would suggest, and probably I'm going to take that suggestion myself, is um, just take it out of the package. You know, let it sit, let it have you know fresh air, and the smell should go away. And I just reassured her that it had, you know, no smoking had ever been around her items. Uh, but if she still was unhappy, absolutely could return them for a full return. And I never heard from her for her again, and that was probably a week and a half ago. So I don't know if, like, just randomly I'm going to hear from her again. But I, I hope she took my word to heart and realized that, um, that I wasn't, you know, like, playing her and smoking in my embroidery studio as I was making her items. But, just, you know, I, I kind of think next year when I order my very first round and they're here for a little bit before I start selling them, I might actually just, you know, pull them out of the bag and let them sit, you know, on top um, so that, you know, that smell can kind of be gone on its own. I don't know if that's something that you guys have experienced with things that you've ordered, um, but I need to this is cute. I, I haven't heard back from her, and I hope I, I hope I don't. Um, you guys still out there? Thumbs up. Tell me hi. So I know you're still there, and that it's still rolling. I know it's frozen a couple of times when my phone was trying to die on me. Okay, thanks, Nancy. Thanks, Deb. I just want to make sure y'all are still there. I see the numbers, but... Okay. Okay, thanks for saying hi again. All right, now let's get, now they're all done. So what happened, Kelly, stop talking. Stop talking, Kelly, and get all three of your machines working again and working for you. All right, so got that going. Oh, thanks. Um, so when it, Shana, I think the freezing is just when my, when my phone says it, it stops and says you have 10% um, battery life. It seems to freeze. And then when I go press that little button and make it go away, everything keeps going. Um, yeah, this, um, someone had mentioned it's from their hometown. We did a girls trip one time and we went to, um, we went to this, you know, the, the baseball game or whatnot, just because it's such an iconic place. We had a blast. I'm not really into baseball, but it was, it was fun. I, I think only one of like the 10 of us, this was like on her bucket list. So she made sure we all went, but we had, we had fun. We just had fun, you know, just being in that whole area before the game and, um, just being part of that atmosphere was super fun. And it really was a neat, like historic, um, ballpark. And of course we, we all had to get a hat and my hat is a, my hat, my hair is a hot mess. Um, so I had worn that, worn this this morning when I was out and about with my boys and 
just kept it on. All right, so let's get the next thing going, and I'll show you how that monogram came out. That is cute. Um, we're going to do this machine. So I'll have to take one color off. Um, it's kind of sad though, right? That was like back in the day when we could do sporting events. I do miss those. Uh, we're big college sports fans. I don't do a lot of... Um, like whatever the other other sports are we do a lot of NC State um, basketball and football and just been sad not doing those weird looking at pictures you know that will pop up on my um, feed of things from you know years past and it's like oh my gosh look at all these games and it's weird Okay, so let me find this one and get these machines going again. And oh, it's not loaded because it's over here. And we'll get the next couple things going. This is the faux smock, the individualized names. Absolute love it from Marmaby Designs. So let's find Daxton. And. I need to buy some more ETH, I think, when I go today, when I'm out and about. I need to get some more. Um, or a new USB. Okay, so... If y'all have seen me do this in the past few days, I have to hold up my frame for some reason, like the, this part, for it to even read it, um, which is annoying. Otherwise, it thinks it's small. But I only have to do it for the actual placement of it. Just leaves me one handed though. <laughs> I like these in the sense that they have a um, they have a midline um, seam and so I can always make sure everything is perfectly aligned. So let me just put the colors on here real quick. Just a two color job. And we'll let it go. And let me just make sure. Yep, Daxton, D A X T O N, light blue. Show you this. So, again, this is the um, Arabesque. This is from Apex Embroidery. I can link it at some point. Um, and this, this I intended really more for like fine linens and whatnot, you know, but it really does look cute on the dress. What do y'all think? And they chose black and I love that when it's like it, it just one one color like that you can do a different color for the um, inner dots versus the um, actual letters um, but what do you think y'all like it for a dress it's different but it's cute okay let's see I got some hoop burn buddy jamming this hoop on there when it so I will, you know, put tender touch on the back of this just so that the stitching, but definitely suggest with this particular design um, to do the cutaway so that it stays on the back just for stability of that particular one. All right, so let me go ahead and put my heat and bond light white fabric on the back of my faux smocking here. And let's see. Cut this a little wonky, so hopefully. See, now it's saying change to a larger border frame. Well, if I hold it up, then it's like, oh, no, you're good. Hopefully that's going to be my eyeball. I have just enough space to fit 
I have so many random orders to, I said random twice, orders to do, and you guys motivate me. When I have this on, it makes me, like, focus. I can chat a little bit, and I can just stay down. I did have to leave once when my two kids were fighting over the computer. Um, but <laughs> it just keeps me focused and working, and um, I have a short amount of time that I can get her done today so um that's why i decided to pop on i did just for those that um weren't here just a second ago i have gotten a new microphone and i'm super excited i've never had one before i think it was working really good but then my phone was dying and i had to decide whether my phone was going to die or you could hear me better and i chose to keep it going um next time i just need to make, make sure my um phone is properly charged which is hard for me <laughs> um but anyway the, the, the microphone will be nice going forward that was my first time using it um i know it was beneficial to everybody hearing better when the machines are running see change to a larger border frame no just hold it up and then you can let it go that's annoying all right, let's put Tinder Touch on the back of this. And then what I do is I have three machines, but two 
you want to read the uh, PDF version and one of them is the recovery machine SP, and go ahead and save them both to both machines, up to the USB for both machines. That way, if you're not aware of that, with what machine, I can pop them up here. And again, not have to read it. has a grid line um, where it shows you the exact middle, which is right here. And then if I want to trace it while it's on the machine, I can trace the machine this way, and I can trace the machine this way. I can trace the laser up this way, or I can trace the laser down this way. If you don't have the laser or the light, just like on my Rakoma, then I just take the needle. Even if you have a single needle, you just take that needle and put it directly over that spot, and you'll know it's centered. And then again, you can go you know, right and left, up and down, to make sure that it is centered so it's not going to be, you know, if it's centered, it's not going to be crooked. It's going to be exactly where you want it to be. By far, hands down, the best thing that I that I can help you with if you're having trouble finding placement. Think about things like um, stockings, where you turn something inside out and flip it around. Well, if you if you put this on the item, you'll have it right every time. I, mean, I can't tell you how many times I'll see someone post an item. And, um, you know, they're like, oh, it's stitched out so great, but it's upside down, wah, wah, wah. But when you do this, that's not going to happen. Um, it, it is an extra step. I get it. Some people are like, what a waste. I recycle my paper, so I hope that helps uh, it not be wasteful. But definitely, hands down, my best practice. Now I'm getting confused because this goes with this item. Now I'm putting 
the wrong thing. So I'm doing another dress. This is a three-piece red dress. And um, she wants the name in black. Well, I'm glad that you've been more adventurous. I love in the hoop stuff. It's just crazy. I can literally like, put something on my machine and literally make it from start to finish. That's how it's... It's, it's, it's amazing what digitizers, you know, have created with some of that. Alright, I got a little crazy, I think, with the size of this. So, uh, it's pretty big for the top. So when I get to the machine, I'm going to downsize. Um, it lets you hit it down like four times, five times. So I would probably hit it down all five because it's a little big. But not too big that I need to go um, I might have to wait for the next machine. So, I'm going to do um, These are from Amazon. They were recommended to me by um, Amber. And one of her lives, I saw her in the video. Oh my gosh, I need those. It helps so much with my organization. So this is a mint aqua spear sucker, ruffle waffle doll hockey baby. That little ruffle butt. Oh, so cute spear sucker. Spear sucker is my thing. And we're putting a monogram. And we're going to have an LDL and master font and bright pink. Okay, that would be cute. That would be cute. I love music. I mean, I just love them. I only have three. I have three boys. So, I don't have any ruffle butts around this house.
is key. So finding some of these things that you can add that are quick, quick turnaround for um, our office.
god. Ghost mop names. How cute is that, y'all? Uh, I love it. Um, it's from um, Modern Age.
bright pink. That's bright pink. And this one wants black. It's already up here. So we can get that one started. Here is my... Oh, did we resave it? So file, save as ES data K. Do I want to replace it? Yes, because the other one was too big. Okay. So, we'll bring up the new one. While that does it, we'll get this squared away. All right, Miss Ava. Where are you? 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 There you are. Set, rotate, close, edit. Find the center. There's the center. Remove said pins. Remove paper. That feels funny. There we go. And we're going to say go. And we're going to say do it in black. And if they have at it. Okay. Pink on them. Oh, but, you know, 
picking it from the all the little loops.
check everything. <laughs>
seeing how long I've been on. I promised my boys two hours, so what's this say? Is that is that a minute? Or is it one hour and 12 minutes? Or is that in minutes like I've been on for 112 minutes, which would be... Anyway, I can't tell. Hi! Okay. Which is like I said, 800 feet from the beach, 
and we go out to the beach all the time. I love to go out and watch the sunset. You know, the boys will go with me, whoever wants to, on that particular day. We're finding all these shells. So we decided to make um, some treasure boxes. So we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby and look for some other wooden boxes, or maybe Michael's. Those are really the only two craft stores we have here in town. And um, paint them, and they can keep them in their room for all their special shells that they find. So we're getting ready to go do that, so I'm excited. So I'm gonna get the last things on these three machines where I can set it, forget it, walk away, and go hang out with them for the day. So I'm so glad you guys have come and hung out with me for a little bit. Honestly, it is such a huge motivator to me. When I, have, when I press that live button, I just keep going until I just can't anymore. So I thank you guys for being there. Um, let's see. Y'all, post office stuff. I see you guys talking back and forth. And thank y'all for helping each other out. Man, that post office stuff is so frustrating, isn't it? All right, let's see. We're going to get this one prepped and ready. Time of a, another project done. So this is the little brother that goes with the big brother that was just finished. That one machine of mine likes to chime like 18 times to let me know it's done. Like it's cute and all, but I get it. You're done. You finished. I'm proud of you. I think it wants me to clap. All right. Um, while it's quiet, I'm going to tell you all yesterday, I think I was living in the body of an 80 year old woman, um, that was clueless to the world. I, I got this message, um, this email from Apple and it said that I was being charged for a in-app purchase and it was like a slot game. It was $49.99. Y'all, I was like, oh my gosh, one of my boys must have clicked on something on the iPad and no, I'm not paying $49.99 for some slot casino game that was an in-app purchase. Not doing it. So I clicked on this button that said I could cancel it. And obviously I was just stupid, stupid, stupid. I gave literally all of my information, y'all, all of it. I, I, name, address, social security number. Then I put in my card number with the three digit code on the back. It said that wasn't the right card. So y'all, I did it again. I put my other card and then I did it again. I put a third card with all the information. I'd already given him a social security number. Oh my goodness. When I told my husband, I'm like, I cannot figure out what account this must have gone to. And he, he was like, can I see that? He looks over and he's like, Kelly, this isn't real. Oh my goodness, you just gave them your social security number and all your information? I'm 80, y'all, I'm 80. What in the world? Oh, I had to cancel all of my cards and get all new cards sent to me. And so like for the next seven days, I've got nothing. So since my husband was going out of town for the weekend, I'm like, I, can you leave me some cash? I don't really need to buy anything, but oh my gosh, um, awful. Um, Oh good, I'm glad you got your package to the right person, Bridget. That's so crazy. That is awful when things are lost, especially when it's of, you know, you did everything you could do. But anyway, so yesterday I spent half the evening calling my bank, getting all my cards, you know, 
canceled and resent to me. And now I've got, you know, Apple. I let them know of this phishing email. And so they had me forward to the email because it looked just like Apple. So this is just my um, PSA for the day. Just be careful when someone's asking for your life, knowing that it's probably not for real. Awful, 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 awful. So hopefully, um, I know. So I did, I immediately canceled all my cards with all the numbers that I gave and I let my bank know. So they'll look for any suspicious activity, but how stupid am I? I mean, seriously. Wow. That was one of those, like, did I just really do that? Like, I know better than that. Obviously I didn't. Isn't that awful? Okay. Awful, 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 awful. Um, Oh, Beth, I don't know what that is. I thought I did, um, oh, they could open an account in my name. Uh, well, whatever, the bank was telling me, you know, what, what to do, and I, I think I followed through with what they were saying, but who would I contact for that? I don't know. I'm so dumb. Hopefully nothing will have come of it, uh, but I, I obviously need to keep my eyes on it. I'm so annoyed. I hate that there's people like that in the world that are so good at like making things look real and, and just knowing there's people like me out there that are just a little dumb sometimes when it comes to stuff like that. I mean, ugh, that just so infuriates me. I'm like mad at myself that I was that dumb, but just, I mean, it looked exactly like Apple. I need to do a credit freeze. Keep your eyes open. Trans Union Experience Equity. Okay. I know y'all. I was so dumb. It was, I know. So dumb. My husband was like, Kelly. Oh. Okay, so I need to let them know. Uh, I will. I need to let Trans Union Experience and Equifax know. Contact them today. Can you, um, distracted or just dumb? Like, what? Okay. So now I'm dumb, but how do I contact them? Do I just look up Experian and all of those three credit bureaus to contact? Is that easy? Do I have to make three calls? But it's, I guess, supposed to look like it. It's Fenway Park. <laughs> Isn't it cute? All my girlfriends got it when we went on a trip up there before COVID. Okay, I need to make three calls. I can go online and get the numbers. Okay, I'll do that, I promise. Glad I mentioned it to you. Cheering my... Dumb blonde moment, I guess. smocked big brother and I'm doing the little brother right now on the machine. I'll look into all of that. I promise when I get off. I'm glad y'all mentioned that.
last random thing I'm going to put up on the machine. I think I've done all of my Easter food. Um, someone ordered three linens. So um, I do a lot of linen hemstitch napkins. Um, I don't do a lot of them, but I really like to do them. Um, and they were three. So I'm going to get that on the machine and start it before I go. These are such a simple, fun, you know, gift, especially like for a wedding or... right here and I just line up the bottom of my linen with that um, so that I know it's straight so I'm going to use this is too hard to do in the air I'm going to use the grid line and this has a notch right here see that notch without it being so bright um, I don't know what you there's a notch right here and I'm going to put the grid line the center of the grid line to match it with that notch and then I'm going to place this straight across on the top so I know it's straight.
me show you what I was just looking at so you know. I have a thread chart that I put on all my listings, and this has like my 64, I don't know, I'm not counting, something like that, um, top colors that I kind of went through and curated. And because some of the names are just kind of dumb when it comes to threads, I had to rename some of them um, just so that it made sense. You know, what I consider to be like my gold or my platinum or my silver, especially when it comes to linens, might not uh, have, well it definitely wasn't the number or the name of what Loriani called them so you know on here I have silver but it might have been called light gray or I have platinum and it certainly wasn't called platinum but then what I have is you know an excel spreadsheet that I refer to that has um, you know what number Loriani thread I have called um, you know so number six is neon pink and so, you know, on here I have neon pink. So if I know they pick neon pink, then I use the number six thread because all of them are numbered. I'll show you that. Um, they all have a number, you know, on the top for Floriani. That's too not gonna focus, doesn't matter where I put it, whatever. Um, so I had someone make this for me on Etsy because um, this was just going to be way too con time consuming uh, and I can um, try to get that information for you if you're interested in it. She actually pulled the actual colors off of the Floriani site. So if you look close, which you probably can't um, see, this it actually is the thread. Like you, it, it, you can physically see, physically? I don't know. You can see the thread um, circles that she's pulled. Um, but very inexpensive, very worthwhile. But then I have to refer to this sheet. So like this person picked light blue um, off of here and that's what was on that napkin order. So I have to come on here because there's so many blues and I look on my sheet and my light blue is number 361. So um, I went and made sure that I had 361 that I could put you know, on the machine to match what she picked out. So um, that has really helped me and I have to refer you know, to that um, chart to match it up. Hi, Trace. Are you getting ready to go for our craft day, aren't we, buddy? I'm putting my last thing on the machine so we can go pick out our boxes. I don't know, buddy, just said hi, Mommy. He wants to be on his iPad. Son's cue of it's time for us to go on our um, our plating. Um, and, um, so I think I'm going to wrap up this live. But thank you guys again. It so motivates me to work when you guys are here watching because it just kind of keeps me motivated and keeps me moving and not going upstairs and getting um, distracted. So thank y'all. Hope you're having a great Saturday. I'm going to go have a craft day with my boys. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow, 9 o'clock, for my Q&A Live. We're going to have lots of fun giveaways uh, of supplies and things like that. And that's my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. But it's also my regular Q&A uh, that I do. Can you hear me? That I do every, you know, two weeks um, on Sunday. So, you know, you can ask any questions. I'm going to try to like dig deeper into some of the questions that people have asked about Rakoma specifically. Um, you know, so if you have questions about that machine, then please, you know, let me know um, either in advance or just come to the live. And again, it's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, uh, you know, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you give a thumbs up to this video. All those things do help in the end, um, just allowing me to you know, be here and, and bring more content to you. Um, but yeah, we're going to do some giveaways and supplies, so that will be fun. And um, 9 o'clock tomorrow. We'll see you there. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. We'll talk soon. Happy stitching.